Hello friends, hope you are doing well. Today in this video, I shall show you online examination system, how the online examination system works. This is basically built using HP.NET MVC, C Sharp and SQL Server. So let's start this application. So the application has launched in the home page there are three sections one is for institution one is for teachers and another is for students now any institution that wants to conduct their examination online they can use this online platform to do so they need to register here after registration, they need to wait for the site admin. Once the site admin has approved, the institution can log in using this login button. I already have one institution registered and approved by the site admin. So now I am gonna, I'm gone, not going to the institution part. Now I am going to the teacher part. So let's click on the register button for teacher and here. For registering teacher, you have to fill up this, uh, these details, you have to select the college, okay, like uh, one that I have registered is listed here, so you will be selected this and finally uh, give your email ID and password, then click on the create button, so as I already have created, so I shall directly log into the system, right? Uh, using the teacher's login. So I'm clicking here in the login button or you can also click on the home tab and login button then choose the type as teacher and you will click on the login button. But before that you just need to provide email ID and password. Now I am clicking in the login button. After login button, the teacher will be landed through the home page, our teacher home page. So from the here of uh, menus or actions, uh, you need to choose any one of the three options available here. Create examination schedule, view examination schedule and upload to question. So first, you need to create an examination schedule. I am selecting the class from here, MBA third year distance and IT semester is for semester, exact dimension of the data, stuff we have, master's 15, the dimension date is 2008. Let's see, start time is uh, now um, 7 1 p.m. and in time let's say. Uh, The examination schedule data structure is the successful and obviously the view examination schedule. You can see the examination ID in this teacher ID, semester data structure, total marks, the exam date, stamp attend that, created that, illustrated that, and also ID from here or delete from here. So I'll go and search. By choosing the class ID and semester, you can also search if you have multiple or many number of uh, examination schedules, so you can search any one of those by using this filters class ID and semester and click on the list button. Okay. Now, the doctor. Uh, creating this examination schedule decision is to go to the uh, upload question section. So in this upload question section there is a sample 
Excel file that creates download from here by clicking this link. And as I'm examining the schedule ID, I have to get that examination schedule ID. Copy this. So I have copied this. And now I have to fill up this Excel sheet. It's opening. So this is the specific format. Here is the exam ID needs to fill up set number. You can also get multiple set, set A, set B, set C, etc. Then question type multiple choice. For now only multiple choice type of question is supported number question marks and option four options and then for this uh, answer so yeah, here option four is answer in this way citizen needs to fill up those uh, those fields from the questions to be uploaded so I am uh, deleting this file I already have some files that I have created earlier. So here yes. Here I have sample questions. So there are two sample questions set A and set B for data structures. So I am opening the set A XLS and uh, Different sequences. 
again uh, click on the turn result link and come to the same page here and select the resolution and click on the download after it and so let me log out and enter the home again and then click on the login button login as a student login come to the download result After we have finished your reading, so how do you are you have enjoyed this session? If you have any question, you can comment below. Or if you can, or if you want to learn HP dot NBC, which server and SQL server, you can also. Comment me, or uh, you can also directly email to me that I will be providing in the description box below. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.